Alicia. Joseph. Alicia, but... Joseph. Help but that lady, she must take her up to yes, her. She's in her room. Mm -hmm. Come on, my dear. Don't worry, dear Otto. We'll get a doctor, a good one. We'll take the best care of her. Joseph, disconnect the telephone. Madame must have absolute quiet. Take it out of the room, Joseph. Quite a binge she's on. I don't think so. Well, you said she was drinking last week, drunk when you saw her. Yes, but I've had time to think it over. Think what over? That drinking of hers. I don't believe it. Why should she lie to you about that? I don't know. She wasn't drunk, she was sick. Maybe that's why she hasn't shown up. She looked like the ragged end of nowhere. Well, it still sounds like a hangover to me. Yes, but I'm going to pay a call. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want you to mess things up. We hope to close this case out in a few days. I won't mess anything up. Just a social call. I, uh, I'm a friend of the family. All right, go ahead if you want to. But don't take any chances. Oh, and uh, call me up when you get back. I'll do that. Okay. Good evening. Family home tonight? Yes, sir. Would you mind telling Mr. Sebastian that Mr. Devlin is here? What is it, Joseph? I'm very sorry, sir, but since Mr. Sebastian asked me not to disturb him, I don't know. Asleep? No, sir. He's in the study with some business associates, sir. How long do you think he'll be tied up? I don't know, sir. Mrs. Sebastian home? Uh, yes, sir. Would you mind telling her? I'm afraid I can't, sir. Why not? Mrs. Sebastian is very ill and confined to her bed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. How long has she been ill? A week. Has she had a doctor? I think so, sir. We're all very concerned about her. If you will wait here, Mr. Devlin, I'll tell Mr. Sebastian. Right. Excuse me, sir. What is it, Judge? Mr. Devlin, to see you, sir. Oh. Tell him I'll be with him in a minute, will you? Yes, sir. Go on, Professor. This sounds serious to me. To me also. What happened Monday? Same thing. When I left the bank, a man was following me. But this morning, when I went to the ticket office, the same man came inside and stood beside me.
Alicia. Alicia. Alicia, what's wrong with you? I'm so glad you came. I had to. I couldn't stand anymore. Waiting and worrying about you. There wasn't a hangover you had that day. You were sick then. What is it? Yes, I was sick. What's wrong with you, Alicia? Oh, dear. What is it, dear? What's wrong with you? They're poisoning me. I couldn't get away from them. I tried, but I was too weak. How long? Since the party. Alex and his mother found out. Come on, try and sit up. Sit up. I've got to get you out of here. I thought you had gone. I had to see you once speak my piece. I was getting out because I love you. I couldn't bear seeing you and him together. Oh, you love me. Why didn't you tell me before? I know. But I couldn't see straight or think straight. I was a fat-headed guy full of pain. It tore me up not having you. Oh, you love me. I oh, love me. Long ago, all the time since the beginning. We've been on the road. Come on. Try to sit up. Oh, Dad, I'm afraid I. I can't make it because they gave me pills to sleep. Keep awake. Keep talking. Have you got a coat? In the closet. They didn't want the others to know about me. Haven't. Well, they'd kill him if they knew. Oh, they killed Emil. Are you in pain? I don't know. The pills. In your feet. Say it again. It keeps me awake. I love you. Stand up. Stand up. Oh. Come on, wake up. Talk. Doctor Anderson. Go on, go on, walk, talk. The sand comes from the Imores Mountains. We'll find it. From a town, Santa Mar, something. Good girl. We'll take care of them later. Come on, keep away, keep walking. Oh, I'm walk. afraid, Dev. I'm afraid they're all in the house. We can't make it. Oh, don't ever leave me. You'll never get rid of me again. Never try to. Brace up, here he comes. What are you doing, Alicia? What is this, Mr. Devlin? I'm taking her to the hospital to get the poison out of her. Poison? How'd you like your friends downstairs to know? They've yet to be told. I'm taking her back to her room. No, I'll raise quite a rumpus if you try. Alex. He knows? Yes. What is happening, Alex? Alicia! She's worse? Yes. Go. Oh, dear, we're going, we're going. You haven't forgotten what they did to Emil, have you, Sebastian? Help him, Alex. I'm glad you have a head on you, madame. I'm not afraid to die. You've got your chance here and now. Tell them who she is. You need any help, Alex? No, we can handle her. Where are you taking her? You answer that one, Sebastian. To the hospital. Alex, talk to them quick. Hmm. 
glad she's going. You should not have waited so long, I Well, what am I going to do? Start shooting? Hold on, Tony. You've only got about 20 hours to go. What happened, Eric? Huh? Oh. Um, sh she collapsed. Mr. Devlin heard her scream when he was waiting for me. Come on, Alicia. Yes, I telephoned the hospital as soon as I saw how she was. You have a car, Mr. Devlin? Out in front. You're hurt, Alex. You're going with them, Anna? No. Alex will call me up. I'll wait here. How do you feel? A bit dizzy. Take some deep breaths. Hurry, hurry. Well, now, just a minute. I must sit with her. No room for Bastian. Oh, but you must take me there watching me. That's your headache. No, please take me, please. Please, please. There is no telephone in her room to call the hospital. Alex, will you come in, please? I wish to talk to you. <laughs> 